Hi, this is Jonathan from Barn2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a trade login for your WooCommerce store. WooCommerce itself is designed to sell to the public. However, with the right plugin, you can easily create a trade login for your store where trade buyers can log into a hidden area of your WooCommerce site and benefit from special trade pricing. All you need is the WooCommerce Wholesale Pro plugin from Barn2. Once installed, this plugin will give you a trade login and registration form with the option to hold new trade account registrations for approval before they can order for the first time. Unlimited levels of trade pricing and discounts. The add-on option for purpose-built trade order forms for faster volume ordering. And you can have a trade-only store or run it alongside an existing public shop. OK, let's set up a trade login on my testing site here. Remember, if you only require a trade login system with trade pricing, but without changing the way products are displayed to your trade customers, then you only need the plugin WooCommerce Wholesale Pro. If you would also like trade-friendly order forms to display your products in a table format, then you need the bundle of WooCommerce Wholesale Pro and WooCommerce Product Table. Remember, links to download the plugins are in the description below. OK, just install the plugin or plugins in the normal way by going to your admin, to plugins, add new, upload the zip file of the plugin, and then activate the plugin and go to the plugin settings where you can enter your license key and activate. Here, I'm going to set up the WooCommerce Wholesale Pro plugin to create our trade login. And you can get to the settings from your admin by going to WooCommerce, Settings, and then click on the Wholesale tab here. This is where you need to enter your license key and activate it. Now, once installed, the plugin automatically creates a login page for you called Wholesale Login, which you can see is selected here. You can, of course, create your own page if you prefer. You can then steer your trade customers to this login page so they can get to your trade-only part of your WooCommerce store. You can also use the same page as a registration page for new customers by ticking the option here. And this option here will hold any new applications for you to approve before they can log in for the first time. And I'm going to select that option for mine. If you prefer, you can create a separate registration page anywhere you like just by using the short code square bracket wholesale underscore registration close square bracket in a new page. Here, I can select the wholesale trade page our trade customers will be sent to when they log in. And the plugin automatically creates a page called Wholesale Store, but you can create a different page and select it here if you prefer. OK, so if I save my settings at the bottom here and then go to that login page, there, you can see the login. And then over here, we have the registration form for new users. And we set it up so new registrations have to be approved first. Now, if I log in, I'm taken to the trade-only part of my WooCommerce store. Now, this is just using the normal grid layout that comes with WooCommerce. If you want to have a trade-style order form layout, then I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Next, I need to set up some discounts for my trade customers. How you set up your trade discounts is done here on the Roles submenu back in the WooCommerce Wholesale Pro settings. Click on Roles and we can now set up user roles with whatever global discount we choose. Once you have a role or role set up like I have here, then when you have a new trade application, you can assign them a role and therefore a global level of discount. So if I go to my Admin and then Users, I can see I have a new registration. And if I edit this one, I can assign a trade role to this account, like so. And then at the bottom of the page here, I can approve the registration. And you can set unlimited trade user roles with different pricing for each one. You can also set discounted pricing for roles at a category level and even for individual products. As I mentioned earlier, if you want to take this a step further and have a trade-style order form for your trade-only area, like this, where your customers can easily view more products on a page, change quantities and variations on the same page, select multiple products, and then add the whole lot to the cart in one go, 
then by adding the WooCommerce product table plugin, you can easily do all of that, just like I have here. So that's been a look at how to easily create a trade only area for your WooCommerce site and how to offer your trade customers different levels of discount. Plus, we had a quick look at adding the WooCommerce product table plugin, also from Barn2, to create a trade style order form to display your products. Links to both plugins and a detailed written step by step tutorial are in the description below. Thanks for watching.